Welcome back guys to a new Morales video in which we're going to use the get Aptos account transactions endpoint, which means you input a wallet address or an account address in the input field and you get the transactions for that specific account. So to demonstrate it to you, I've already done that. You can see that we get uh, the sender address right here. We get the transaction hash. We get the gas used for this transaction uh, when this happened and it, if it was successfully executed or not. And you can see that this wallet or account has a few transactions. Then we also get the different kind of events. So for this transaction, it was a claim event, a deposit event, a coin register event. And for this transaction, it was withdraw event, swap token event, snapshot event, swap step event and deposit event. So this is pretty cool how you can go back and track the different kind of transactions. And if I, for, the, for example, if we check on this one, we have coin register event deposit event and claim event so if i click on this we're gonna go to the aptos explorer to this specific transaction and if i go to events we can see that it includes coin register event we have deposit event and we also have claim event which is the exact same three from here now this is pretty cool i'm gonna show you how to do this with just a few lines of code using the morales api it's gonna be so simple you're gonna start laughing to demonstrate it with another wallet address, we can do the same and we get this wallet transactions and it works the same way. If we go to the transaction hash on Aptos Explorer, we can see that we have only one event for this transaction, the coin register event, which is the same as here. Now, if this is interesting enough, stay tuned and I will show you how to build it. Hey, I'm Joseph, your Web3 instructor from Sweden. I've been into crypto since 2017 and have been building in the space since 2021. In my free time, I enjoy playing paddle, going to the gym or hanging out with my dog. I always try to enjoy some good pancakes, but that's for another time. Now let's get back to the video. All right, let's get started with creating our root folder, the get aptos account transactions. And within that one, we're gonna have to create the backend and the frontend folder. So let's start with backend and with package.json, we're gonna install node fetch, express, .env and course. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a .env file in the root of the backend folder. And that's gonna have our API key. Now, if you don't have your Morales API key, we're gonna go on and get that. So go to morales.io slash pricing and you can see the different plans that we have and you can choose from. You have the starter, which is fine for getting started, but if you want to take your dApps to the next level, make sure you go with the pro account or even the business and enterprise account. But for my opinion, the pro account is very good if you're serious about building within the Web3 space because you get more compute unit power, you have more daily uh, compute units in general, you can do more requests, you can do faster requests, and it's so much better. Now, once you've created your account, go to login and you're gonna come to your admin dashboard. From here, go to Web3 APIs, and here is your API key. Copy it from here, and then we can use it inside our project. So make sure you paste that in inside the .env file, and then let's go ahead and create the index.js file. First, we're gonna import all the dependencies we just installed. Our backend server is gonna be an express server. It's gonna be on port 5001. So let's make sure we're listening to that port right here. Then we want to get our API key from .env file and that's how we do it right here. And we're storing it inside the Morales API key variable. We're gonna use this variable right here when we create our options object. And then we're gonna use this options object within our requests right here. And as I said, this is gonna be a very quick, a very simple dApp to build because that's what Morales provides us. So we only need one single endpoint to make this happen. And we're gonna create a get endpoint on slash get account transactions we're gonna get the wallet address or the account address from the input field as a parameter from the front end client so we can query out like this and use it inside this morales api endpoint when we do our request and when we get the response back we're gonna send it to our front end client and from there we can extract the, all the values that we desire to display. So let's jump on to the front end folder, but if you have any questions, make sure you post them in the comment section below. I will make sure to answer them. Our front end is a Next.js application, so make sure you set that up. And then we're gonna need to install a few dependencies. For this specific case, we're gonna install Axios, Web3 UI Kit Core, 
material UI material and then material UI icons material. To show you the simplicity of our application, let's go to the index.js file inside the pages and you can see that we only render one component, which is the main. So let's jump into that one. And from here we have imported use state, axios, image, card and illustration from the web3 UI kit slash core. And this is a repo we at Morales have created to give you light web components and icons and similar stuff for you to easily create the front end part without having to worry about it at all. So you can only focus on adding the Web3 functionality into your dApps. Then we're gonna need some material UI components from here and from here. We're gonna add our CSS file and the Morales and Aptos logo right here. Moving on, we're gonna need three state variables, the wallet address, which is an empty string to begin with, the result variable, which is an empty array, and then the show result, which is a Boolean, and it's gonna start by being false. We have these two functions, so handle change is running when we type inside the input field. And when we type, we're gonna get the typed value and we're gonna store it inside this wallet address variable by using its set function. And we also have the handle submit function, which we run when we hit submit. And from there, first we want to empty the input field and then we want to do a request to our backend server using Axios. And we're gonna do it on port 5001 because that's where our backend server is at. And on slash get account transactions, passing along our wallet address. And when we get the response back, I have console logged it just to show you what we're getting back. But I'll also, we're gonna set the result variable, which was an empty array to the response.data array, and then set show results to true because now is when we want to display the data. And before I show you what we console log right here, this is where we render everything. So we have the Morales logo right here. We have the Aptos logo right here. And this is the header. So we have the input field and the submit button as well. And to run the functions that I just explained right here, we need to have a non-change handler on the input field and an on-click handler on the button. And then once we get the responses back, we set this variable to true and that's when we want to display the data. So we map through the result array. And for each and every item in this array, we're gonna create a card with the description of the sender, which you can see right here, along with this wallet logo that's above this section. And then we're also gonna add this section right here, which gives us the hash, the gas used, the time, and the status. Now here is where we add the link to the Aptos Explorer, and we add the transaction hash inside this URL. And then we want to create the drop-down menu, which is what, what we're using Material UI for. So we're going to create an accordion. Uh, it's going to have the title of events. And then we're going to add the details, which is each and every event. And we're going to split it, splice it, and replace some stuff just to make it look as good as it does. I'm going to show you otherwise how it would look. And that's about it, guys. We don't need more code than this. It's, it's very quick. It's very simple. We're going to use Morales to get all the data. Now, let me show it to you one more time and also show you the console log. So we have this uh, data right here. And if I open the inspector, we can see that this is the response we're console logging. And we saved the response.data array, which is this one. And we can see if we take the first one, we can see the events it had, which are these three right here. So we can see that the type is like this. So we have coin register event at the end. And that's why we need to split and slice it to, to only display the coin register event and not this whole part. And the same goes for all the other types. So we have deposit event. And lastly, we have this slightly longer one, which is claim event. And then we also have, if I minimize events, we have the changes, which we can see and display further if we want to. We have more data here to display, but this is what we can get very quickly using the Morales API and easy create this quick little dApp to track each and every event of each and every transaction. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you smash the like button because I love to see that. And also make sure you leave a comment below to show me how much you appreciate this video.